So, when is the best time to go torching? Um, who knows? <laughs> well, I'll just let you know, ideally you want it to be a no moon night, so you want it to be dark, you want it to be shallow, so you want it to be low tide, and you want there to be zero wind. That would be the ideal time to go. Um, that lands on whichever day it lands on, and you just gotta make it happen, so. All right, get out there and have some fun. Okay guys, so we're going torching, right? We're gonna go walk the reefs, see what's out there, right? Yeah. Hopefully we get something, right? Yeah. Alright, can see I'm fire fishing. I'm fire fishing. Alright, cool. Hey, how's it guys? Brother Joe here with your tackle tips. So you wanna go torching with your family or even just with yourself. It's a nice day, nice night, you wanna get out there. I'm gonna show you kind of what I use. When I go out there and um, other alternatives, also if you don't want to buy really expensive gear, which you don't need. Um, so here we go. Let me just show you real quick, it's down here. So basically all you need is either a spear, scoop net, a cheap pair of gloves, some footwear, lighting, your choice of lighting, um, and somebody to carry the fish in, which whether it be a cooey, a cooler, a bucket, something, okay? So let me go over these real quick. All right, so spear, self-explanatory, just get a spear. Probably want a lighter, faster one, like this um, graphite one, but anything will do, especially for torching, because things are usually sleeping um, at night, so you can guide, usually either scoop them up or shoot them. So first off, you want to have a headlamp. So for my kids, I usually try to just buy them like these cheaper ones, like a $5 one from Walmart. These are Good enough affordable and if they break it i'm not gonna cry about it then if you want to get something better i have something like this which is crazy bright but I'll, I'll be scared to let them drop it in the water but this is good to have i also like to use a handheld light so you can use something like this or something something smaller like this but it's good to have a handheld light because with the headlamp it's good because you can follow the fish and wherever you look around, you can see. But sometimes if there's ripples on the water or, or it's hard to see, you take these lights, you stuff it under the water. And when you shine, it lights up a different light. When you go on top, it kind of reflects and bounces off. When you put it under the water, it lights up the whole area. So when the kids are trying to grab something, I'll stick this under the water and it really brightens up the area and you can kind of see what you're doing. Okay. Next, you're going to have to get your kids or yourself some footwear. So ideal is uh, some kind of tobbies, felt bottom. But if you don't want to buy the kids new tobbies every year because they're growing so fast, I know a lot of us parents, we have um, old shoes or Crocs or whatever. All you do is take some felt and use um, the glue, like a... Um, what is that? Um, shoe goo and glue some felt to the bottom. And then you have your instant tabbies, especially they might get wet and stink a bunch, but you're not going to use them that much, right? Because they grow so fast that it'd be cheaper alternative than to buy them this every time. But if you have the money, this is the best. If not, like I said, old pair of shoes and some shoe glue and some felt. And then gloves. Any gloves to do. Don't go out and buy expensive diving gloves just to go torching. You can go to Home Depot, pick up a pair of gardening gloves, double dipped rubber. It's like these are like five bucks, but they're really good, light. They lose them, I'm not gonna cry about it, but real easy. All right, and, and for the nets, boom. This is the, this is what uh, the kids love the best, right? Real easy to use, safe like compared to a spear, so um, better than having to shoot your foot. <laughs> um, the difference between this scoop net and a lot of other scoop nets is this one has a flat top, as you can see. So I really, really like this style a lot better, especially for torching, because 
oftentimes it'll be a sandy bottom or something and you're trying to scoop them up. If you have a rounded bottom, you only have a small percentage of actually scoop them up. So what you want to do is uh, either scoop them up or put it down like this right on the, on the ground and then the fish is be sleeping here. You're going to put the nose in front of the net and all you do is tap the fish by his tail and it'll swim forward right into the net and you can lift it up. But if you have a round net, it could easily miss the net. So if you're going to get one, get one like this. All right. And this is, oh, and I carry around the bait bucket. So all the fish or small stuff I can store in here. If I can also attach like a, a D-ring cooey to this or even a stringer to this if I want to. And this, this will just float and then drag my fish and crabs or anything else I find. So, and this is the one I know you guys have been waiting for is this. It's pretty cool, huh? So I made it myself. So this is like an old school fish box. What it is is um, a glass box, which is you put it in the water and then you can just see really clear. All right, you see that? So I'll show you how to make this. So all you need is two buckets. You technically can do this just with one bucket. And what you do is at the bottom of one bucket, you're gonna cut a lip. So this is the important part is to make sure you cut a one inch lip around the bottom. Leave some meat on, on the stuff. So that way, when you cut that, you just take the plexiglass, put silicone, a, a really thick bead, and just press it on top. And then what I do is I slide a secondary bucket over this bucket. Um, and you're probably wondering why. You don't need to, but what happens is over time, a lot of times, if you only have one bucket with the plexiglass on bottom, the kids and everything will put it down on the cement or stuff in a rub and scratch your glass all up. So if you put the this bucket sleeve over it and leave a one inch gap lip, it really helps to protect it. And remember to drill some side holes. So when you put it in the water at an angle, the air bubbles come out. So that way all you see is water, not water and air, you know? And then even if it has some ripples on the water or it's a little rougher, you can just stick this in the water and you can see perfectly clear, almost like a dive mask. Uh, you can also use this on the boat if you want to. Just make sure nobody like throws their gear inside and pops off the glass. So, all right, that's your tackle tips. So right now it's negative tide. As you can see, it's like the shoreline is very, it's a super low tide. Okay guys, so we're gonna stick close to the shoreline, okay? No, no, no. No, that's a, that's a taco, taco. So Nomi, what you do is you put your net over here, flat. Yeah, just like that. Put it closer to it. Put it closer to it. Oh, look at that. Come on. All the way to the ground. Scoop it up. You got it. Scoop it up. Yeah, scoop it up. Almost. Here, here. Show me here. Try it. Here. here. See? Oh, look, guys. Look, look, look. Look with the bucket. Look at, look at, look to the bucket. No, Nori. Look to the bucket. Can you see it now? Yeah. See how easy you guys can see? Look the taco. Yeah. That's right, isn't that cool? Yeah. So you want to scoop it up? Just put it, put it right, um, yeah. Oh, no, no. No, me here. No, no, what you do is, here. what you do is you try to put it like here. Oh, and like how's this? that hold the like bucket this. technique, yeah? Well, I wish I had more like this on this side. <laughs> and, now, uh, and then what you do is you tap them in. Okay, like that. Boom. Oh, ah, ah. You got it? He's right on your way here. Oh, he's gonna bite me. Night taco is another variety of taco here in Hawaii that usually comes out at night. They're usually way longer. They'd be noticeably a lot more red with the white dots. And they are they actually do tend to be more aggressive and tend to bite sometimes. So I try to just throw them in a bag or something. But even if there are different species of taco. They still need to be one pound to be legal. Okay. Uh, let's let them go. Yay! Okay, here you go, so look for anything like different color, red or whatever. And then you guys can use the bucket to really find it. Here, Nomi, put the put your shine over here. Put the bucket over here. Fish. Huh? Fish. That's a fish? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool.
Oh, okay. Look the fish! Okay. See with the bucket, you can see the fish, huh? Four. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm glad I built that for you guys. See this one? Son, right there, look, fish. Look, look where I'm pointing. Oh! Uh, that's better fish. Okay? No, small one. You get any of it, Nomi? You find anything? What? Oh yeah, yeah look, 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 stick fish, Nomi, stick fish. No, stick fish. Whoa, oh. jump. Get it, son, right there, right there. Oh, jumped. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, here we go, let's keep going. Oh. Yeah, yeah, come, son. Up. Put the put the net in front of him. Yeah, just put it in front of him. I'll tap it toward you, okay? Come on, come. Go get it, get it, go! Oh, oh, oh. Yay! Oh, what did you catch? What is it, yeah? Hold the net, son. Oh. I don't know what it is. It looks like a meal. And then that. A baby meal. Yay! A baby allure? I think it looks like a baby allure. Okay. <laughs> okay. As all you parents know, sometimes things don't go as planned. So we went torching. It was pretty nice, but the wind did kind of pick up, and we wasn't really finding too much stuff. So you guys have a plan B. I'm sure you guys always have a plan B also. So our plan B was if we're not catching anything torching, let's just have fun and stick to a shoreline and catch an ama crabs. Ama crab is this little black crab that is a Basically a Hawaiian delicacy. They use it a lot for uh, parties and they have, it's like kind of raw crab poke. Super good, delicious, one of my favorites. So I said, hey, let's go catch some crabs along the shoreline and the kids would just love it. So that was our plan B. All right, let's go. Holo holo. What you do is you grab them with the right hand and then what you do is you just shove them in this bucket, okay? Okay? Oh, well, guys, eggs, you let them go, okay? No, me, Jaden, somebody. Catch that crab. Scoop him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Scoop him. Right there, son. Right there, right there. On this side. Right there. Scoop him, scoop him, scoop him, scoop him. Scoop him, scoop him. Scoop him. Son, just put the net over him. Just put it flat over him. And then you can, like, grab him after. No. Okay, go, 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 right there. He's right there. Almost. Go, 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 go. Come out. Yeah, there. Oh, 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 oh. Yay! Wait, hold on, hold on. Come, son, bring it here. Got too much stuff in my hand. So, here. It's a blue crab. So, you see, this is. No, that's an armor crab, okay? This is a female, but there is no size limit or, or catch limit on these armor crabs. But I tend to leave all the females, let go all the females, yeah? Especially if they have eggs. This is a female, because you see uh, like the underneath yeah. is real round. It's not pointy. And look, guys, look, there's eggs, yeah? Oh. See all the eggs? Yeah. The black stuff is eggs. Oh. So we're going to let this one go, okay? Yeah, because it's illegal. No, it's legal. It's just that um, to make them, yeah, make babies. To get more, yeah? So, so we practice conservation, yeah? So let, let all the female one go with all the babies. So they make more, more crabs. See, look. Good job, you guys. So you guys cut this one, okay? Yeah. So you see how like that one's a male? Yeah. Little... So remember, the male have the triangle tail. See? Just like that. Pointy, pointy right there? Yeah. Where's the right female? Okay. There was the same female crab earlier. Okay, cool. So what you do is you look by the rocks and you see if you see any. Oh, there's one. I see one. Look where I'm shining, son. You see right there? Right there on that rock. Oh. You gotta be quick. You gotta just grab them with your hand. Don't be scared. Just grab him with your hand. Good, good. Just smash him. Ah, oh, go, go. Grab him, grab him, son. Grab him. Yeah, just. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Oh, come on, man. Right there, right there. Look, you guys missing it. He's right there. Look. Look right there. What about your shoes, son? He's right there. Look, Nomi. Good. Right there, guys. Oh, look, look, look. He's right here. Oh, come on, guys. Ah. Come, Nomi. I'll let you go get one on the back side of this. 
Look, 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 I see him, I see him. What are you doing? Oh my god, no, 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 what are you doing? No, where are you doing? No, where are you doing? No, where are you doing? Oh, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 come on. Look, you guys. Oh my goodness. <sighs> we missed some good ones, huh? One right there, one right there. There you go, good job. Okay, put him in a bucket. Good job. Right there, son, in front of you. No, look, look where I'm shining. Look where I'm shining. Hey, look where I'm shining. Look where I'm shining. Did you grab him? Son, just, just go like this. Go flat, okay? Just put your hand flat. There's another one right on the, come, come, come. Look on the other side of this rock. Right there, son. Look, look, look. Yeah, grab him. Good. You got him? Ah. Oh, oh, oh. There you go, there you go. Go, go, go. You got him? Yes! yes! Throw in it. Oh, uh -uh. It's it. okay. Yeah! <laughs> See? See? There you guys go. You got him, son. See? You saw motivation. You, you went and you got him. Good job. <laughs> okay. So, like everything else, <laughs> It takes time and it takes, uh, you have to build up your skill and ability. And, you know, as you can see, the kids really had a hard time in the beginning, but they really picked it up. Same thing with er everything else we do in life. So, and as a parent, you're going to have to have a lot of patience because I know I could just went out there and grabbed them all, but, and we would have had some poo poos and stuff, but it's actually better to let them learn and then grow, right? so that they can feed themselves like this for life, right? Um, so, <laughs> good thing my wife brought a lot of food for the hibachi. So we have to go to plan C, which is hibachi time. Because remember, you're catching more than fish, you're catching memories. So, spend time with your family, get out there. All right. Thanks, Nori, for the food. <laughs> All right, take a look. Open up. Woo, look at that. Look at that. Woo. That is nice. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. You guys have fun? Yeah, go show mommy what you caught here. Hold the light. Shine it inside. Go show me what you caught. Yeah? Okay? But I think we should let him go, okay? Because we only got three. I don't think that's enough. Okay? So you guys want to let him go? Okay, here, come. Follow daddy. So let him go right here. So maybe next time we come back, they'll all be right here, okay? Oh, there's one. Okay. And one more. Do you all come up? Oh, one more. Hey, there he goes. Be free. All right, now we get to like barbecue. Yeah, I know. Kiki, that's your favorite barbecue. That's your favorite. Yeah, good job, babe. I'm going to do it, Sometimes the best thing about fishing is the time you spend with them, yeah? Yeah, look at that. Oh, so good. All right, Raja. Look at this. Just scrolling through all you guys' uh, comments and thank you guys. I appreciate and read everyone every week. So thank you guys again. Love and appreciate you guys. And <laughs> I'm so old school, look at this. I, I'm literally, I was like writing down um, every single name and kind of if you said you wanted something i wrote it down and hopefully we can find a easy way to figure out the winners yeah what's up guys congratulations to the winners of the 2000 subscriber giveaway i tried to get as much stuff to give them as much people as i could um so just to say thank you so i did the auto generator thing came up with like 20 winners so uh, the best way to do this is just to DM me on Facebook or DM direct message me on Instagram on Fire Fishing. Um, that way all your information is private and what I can do is I can go mail it out to you guys as soon as I can. Okay?
and maybe I can talk to you guys, see if you guys wanted to trade with somebody else to get something or whatever. But, all right, let me show you who the winners are. All right, all right, all right. Bingo, bangle, here are the winners. Okay, so I did go old school style, paper and pencil, okay. So, Ehum Maui, you're a winner. Tony Browning, uh, Agro Roast B23, Matt W, Kevin Nakai, Dustin Opio Pio, um, Corey Lum, 817 Mobile, Arizona, Benjamin L, Paul Rita, James Kael, and Jay Yama, David Miyamoto, and Jeffrey Dukui. All right, Robert Harvest, uh, Jace. Jay's, Jay's Fishing Tales and Bryson Hino, Ryan Moribi, and uh, Backcountry Wahine. Ooh, one more. Derek Tangen. You guys are the winners. So, yep, just try um message me or if you want me to message you, whatever. Or just try to get a hold of me somehow and I'll try to get it all to you guys. All right. Mahalo, guys. Hey, thank you guys again for thank you guys again for watching another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. Remember to fish safe and fish with aloha. Catch you guys on the next one.